have now basically created a repetitive stress injury to my knuckle on this finger and that is uh, going to impact my my progress quite a bit basically what it is is like i it, it really hurts to uh curl my finger forward so for the most part i can get through the day without anything but when i'm practicing I, i'm taping a, a paper clip just just as a reminder not to use that finger um and as far as not using that finger I'm relearning a lot of my songs that I've learned uh, without the use of this finger. But there's been a lot of good things that have come from. This is a setback, and I'm, I, it, it scares me that this this can really impede progress. But um, I am seeing a bright side to all of this. Um, a, I've been practicing too much. B, I've learned that I've been fretting too hard. I don't need to be pushing the string all the way down to the neck. Uh, just enough to get a clear note is all that's needed. And that's a lot lighter than what I have been doing. I've been pressing those strings down too hard. I think in particular, I hurt this finger. Uh, it started to ache a little bit and I kept playing through it uh, for about two weeks. And now it's gotten to the point where um, I, I could, if I needed to, continue to play, but I decided no, give that finger a rest, let it recuperate. I could almost say the same thing with this shoulder, um, holding the arm out here like this and playing. I, I've been shrugging my shoulder up, so I, I need to relax the shoulder, keep it, keep it down, and take more breaks. So a lot of my practice, um, well, what I'm trying to do at this point is, is include more breaks and rests during my practice and keep the practice shorter than an hour to an hour and a half. Um, and we'll see how that works, hopefully. And then I'm icing Advil and all, all the other good stuff to, to recuperate. So as far as playing, uh, I can actually do okay with a lot of the basic songs without using this finger, just by adjusting my hand up and incorporating the pinky and the middle finger to do some fretting rather than the middle finger and the index finger. And that's actually getting my, my pinky uh, engaged a whole lot more. So hopefully my pinky will become more dexterous as time goes on. And then once I've recovered, I'll, I'll return. But as I was saying, I think what really did it was the chord shapes. This would be like day 27 or whatever. The, the vamping exercise from Eli Gilbert's 30 Days of Banjo, where I was fretting and to get the the index finger fret, fretted I would have to really angle it and then push it down at an angle and I think that was I don't even know if this is correct term but putting a lot of torque on that that middle joint there uh, and then within a span of a few weeks I've, I've ag aggravated that joint so a lot of my progress has slowed down but I think in the end, I may actually benefit from, from this um, setback. So, and even if I don't, it's, it's a setback. I, with with any, anything that you plan on doing long term, there's going to be setbacks. Uh, I'm going to learn how to see it. I'm still shrugging my shoulder. And, and so this is going to be um, just probably one of dozens of setbacks in training that I'll have. Uh, I'm not in here to kind of like have an accelerated program. I love, love, love playing the banjo. That's part of the reason why my practices have been so long. I kind of lose track of time. Um, and I plan on doing this for years to come. So even if I get a setback of like three months or something like that, over my lifetime, I, I don't think that's going to be such a negative. But anyway, to just demo a little bit and bear with me, my pace is a lot slower and my fretting is still, I'm still getting used to it.
it's amazing how your body can adapt, how your hands can adapt. Uh, granted, that's not as fast as I can play if I could incorporate my index finger, but after after maybe a week or so of adopting this, um, eliminating my, my index finger from playing, it's it's pretty impressive. I'm I'm impressed that <laughs> that I can adapt so so easily. Cripple Creek, for example, is I, I only have to make an adjustment at the beginning, the, the be beginning two parts, um, and then the rest of it I play as normal. Uh, same goes for Will the Circle Being Broken. I'm sorry, um, yeah, with the, Will the Circle Being Broken, I, I don't use this finger all that much. Now, um, just to add on to what I was talking about in the last video, where I'm doing a two, three, or sorry, three, two pull off using ring middle rather than middle index. Uh, that was not in preparation of this finger injury, but it sure is helping that I started learning how to do this 3-2 pull off using um, the, the ring and middle rather than the, the middle and index because now I don't, I don't need to use that index finger. It is a little bit more complicated and I need to get my, my thumb way up the neck so I can get the leverage I need to, to really pick that pull off. I'm still engaging that, uh, the second string a little bit. I'm hitting it a little bit, but it's getting a lot better. almost like I'm just wiping the string rather than picking it or plucking it, but I'm getting there. It's all an adjustment. Um, so things again, important things I've learned from this injury is A, don't practice so much. Uh, the benefit from practice is coming from consistency day to day rather than long hours in one day. Um, that's, that's with anything you practice. So adding the difference that I'm, the amount of improvement I'm getting by practicing say 45 minutes uh, or say an hour and a half say, rather than just 45 minutes is probably not as significant as just practicing 45 minutes and making sure I practice 45 minutes every single day. Second important lesson, don't fret so much. Third important lesson, incorporate breaks during my, my practice session. And the breaks are mo mainly for this shoulder and for this hand. Uh, for exa example, I'll set a timer, I'll just use my watch. I'll set a timer for five minutes and I'll practice a drill for five minutes. And then I have a one minute break. In that one minute break, I'll just do, I'll practice roll patterns. Or just take a complete break but practicing roll plat patterns and then once that went one minute's up I'm back to my five minutes of the next drill all right a bit of a long video and not much demo but I'm chipping away at it uh, wish me luck on my recovery so Advil and ice after I practice today and then I will keep you all posted on how I'm doing and how I'm progressing uh, hopefully week by week all right thank you very much I'll see you next time